take a look at this. Through three games, the Browns' defense under Jim Schwartz have held opponents to three points twice. Three years uh, with Joe Woods as the defensive coordinator. Browns allowed three points or less once. Fred, uh, the, the change to the defense has been quick and dramatic. Um, I know you wrote an article about the, the domination of the defense. What have, what have your thoughts been about the way this defense has played? Well, we've talked about it on here from back in training camp from the first day you know, of spring mini camp and, and then into training camp at West Virginia at the Greenbrier. Jim Schwartz brings a different attitude to that side of the ball. And with the additions they made, I was, I was pretty confident this was going to be a much better defensive team than what we have seen in the past. He's aggressive. He lets the corners play man-to-man, and we've seen it. That's allowed your defensive line to stop the run, to go get the quarterback. And what you've seen, you know, is domination. I mean, they dominated the Bengals. They dominated the Titans. And off and defensively, really, they dominated the Steelers, you know, other than the one play, you know, 70 yards to Pickens, blown coverage. But just before that touchdown, they had a third and 10, and they had three missed tackles to give them a first down. They've been getting off the field at 19% is the amount of third downs they're allowing. We have not seen that in my, you know, certainly since 99. The team last year couldn't get off the field on third down. They were giving up about 40%, 41%. And the thing that's most glaring, through three games, they're the number one ranked defense in the NFL. But they're number two against the run. Think about last year, Dave. About this time, Anthony Walker went down in the third game, and the defense gave up 130 yards rushing or more in 10 of the final 14 games. They were horrible against the run, and teams could just do whatever they wanted because of that. This year, through three games, you've had Joe Mixon, you've had – Najee Harris, and you've had Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry was held to 20 yards the other day. So it's been very impressive to be able to stop the run and force teams to throw the ball. And then you're set up with Miles Garrett, Zadarius Smith, Okoronkwo, and those guys going after the quarterback. So I, I just think that's the most impressive is the, the run stop. To go from what we saw last year to eliminating and allowing teams to get, you know, like 50 yards a game so far through three games. Now, they're going to be tested this week, obviously, with Lamar Jackson, but I like where it's heading. And I said the Browns didn't have to be the number one defense in the NFL. They didn't even have to be top five. I just felt if they could be a top ten defense, this would allow the offense to score more points than the opponent because you think of last year, or even the playoff year under Joe Woods, they gave up 25, 26 points a game and went to the playoffs and were 11 and 5. Really, they've given up an average of six points a game when you count only 12 against the Steelers and then 3 and 3. And don't forget, last week against the Titans, it would have been a shutout if Elijah Moore didn't fumble the ball in the 17. In fact, the Titans got the ball in the 17. That drive, they were three plays minus nine yards. They had a negative play on every uh, play on that and then kicked a field goal. So I th- they're not going to be this dominant all year, but if they can just stay in the top 10 and, and hold opponents to under 20 points a game, I'm pretty confident the Browns' offense will be able to score that many and win games. But – while the de- offense is trying to get on track, I think the defense is setting you up to win games. They had it in place for the Browns to beat the Steelers. They should be 3-0. and The offense cost them that game. You hand 14 direct points. You know, I read somewhere if the Browns would have just knelt and punted after three plays against the Steelers in the fourth quarter, they would have won the game. You know, they had the lead, but the offense gave it up. So... You know, I can't say enough. You know, Jim Schwartz has brought an attitude and they believe in him. 